This is a short video on how to add email and attachments to Ferret Web. In Outlook, you will have in the toolbar at the top a Ferret Web Tools toolbar. There's a lot of buttons in here, but we're going to focus on two of them, Add Outlook Item and Add Attachments. We can You can cover those later. Those two you'll use all the time, and what I've done is put them in my Home tab. So uh, it's very easy to do. Your IT provider can do this, or we can show you how. So I want to add an email directly from Outlook into Ferret Web. I first select the email, and you'll notice the Attachments button has become active because there's an attachment on that. If I selected an email that did not have one, that's inactive. I want to add this to Ferret Web. I click the Add Outlook item, and this window pops up. What's the database that I want to add this to that I have permission to access? I'm going into the insurance one. I then want to go to a client record type, and I then want to save it to Phil's missing charter. So I search for Phil. It's found what I was looking for. If there was more than one fill in that particular database, it would be listed here. And you simply select which one is the correct one. And again, all of these fields here are dependent upon what your configuration is. You, your company decides what that is. And of course, you can expand and contract that. Once I've selected that, down here at the bottom are the indexing details for that email. And Ferret has automatically picked up the email's date. It's going to automatically create a file name for that email because right now inside of Outlook it's simply data. It is not a tangible file. We will make it a tangible file, put it into Ferret against the record it belongs to, and create a file name in the process. It's automatically picked up the subject and put it into the description field. It's defaulting to a particular doc type. I can select this. This is your list, so you decide uh, what is on that list, or your company does. And it's also picking up automatically who it was to and from. I now click Add, or I can add more detail here. So I can add additional indexing information directly from this view in Outlook. Ferret doesn't even need, doesn't even need to be open. So it's very important that when you add an email, add as much information that you can because quite often a subject has been used many times and it's become obsolete. So add a little bit of extra detail that will go a long way. Click Add and now I'm getting a prompt. Do I want to delete this from my inbox? Yes or no? Normally I'd say yes, I've dealt with it. In this case I'll, sh I'll say no just to show you something. And I have now saved it into Ferret. In a few seconds, this ferreted column, once the save has been completed, it now has changed to a date confirming when that email was saved into Ferret. If I go back to Ferret and I go to Phil's Charters, and I'll just hit my refresh my screen and do another search here and click on Phil, expand my view, and down that was an old email so here's my email right there uh, that I saved. Now if I go back to the document and I want to save the attachment we recommend you save the attachment as a separate file you want to record the existence of that attachment it's a company policy internally on, on your company's side but we highly recommend you want to find this attachment six months from now you don't want to go looking for it underneath hundreds of emails. So to save the attachment as a separate file, you hit this Attachments button, and the same window comes up. It's remembering where I went before, so it's still got Phil's fishing charters, but I could put it somewhere else if I wanted to. Uh, Bob's Bakery, and found Bob's Bakery. Oh, there's several Bob's around. And I now, again, I can index it any other way I want. and click Add. Now, note the Skip button, because what you're doing is picking up the attachment here. That's the attachment file name. Be careful, because Outlook considers logos in the signature as an attachment. So if you have a file name, such as image001.gif, hit the Skip button. You don't want to save that. 
So pay attention to the file name of the attachment. Click Add, and now she's gone. I go back to Ferret, and as I say, there's my email. So I've saved my email into Phil's Fishing Charters and the attachment into Bob's, and I want to open that back up. I click on it. It's asking me what I want to open it with, Outlook. And there it is up here, and open that. And now over here on the right, sorry, is my email, exactly as I saw it in Outlook. I have not changed it in any way. It's exactly the same as what it was before, but it's no longer in Outlook. It is in Ferret against the record it belongs to. So anyone who has permission to come in here can now see it. In addition, if I now go to Bob, find Bob, there's Bob's Bakery, expand view there's my attachment right there click it goes to the download view and there's my document so real simple real easy to add emails and attachments directly from outlook now in addition you can also do the same for outgoing emails click new email and i'm going to send this to myself <clears throat> and send i'm being prompted do i want to put it in ferret yes or no yes i do where do i want to put it i want to put it in bob's file search for bob found him and automatic indexing add more detail add delete it yep i don't want to leave it in my sent items kill it gone uh, hit refresh, F5, and there's my email. Open it up in Outlook, and there it is. Again, it's exactly as it would have been in Outlook, except it's not there. It's in Ferret where it belongs.